one of my professors, um, Bill Perk, uh, purchased the dome years later after Bucky left, uh, started an organization called uh, RBF Dome NFP, uh, R. Buckminster Fuller Dome Non-For-Profit Organization for the restoration and preservation of the dome. And uh, I got involved with this primarily because of Bill. So we finally set up RBF Dome NFP as a not-for-profit organization that could be the owner. So I donated the property to RBF Dome NFP. I think the significance of the home was unrecognized for many years. And fortunately, through the efforts of people like Bill Perk uh, and support from the preservation community and, and other members in the, in the community who recognized that it was a unique structure, um, that it was very significant because of its association with Fuller. Phase one of this project dealt with the reconstruction of all the structural components that, have, that had failed in here, uh, the, the uh, refurbishing of the three sliding glass doors and the two windows, um, putting a steel band around the outside, putting new decking on, and then putting a new TPO, a, a, a membrane roof on it, and then doing the painting, which you can see on the exterior, there's a white roof with two shades of blue. The white represents sails, and the two shades of blue represent the sea uh, and the sky, because Bucky liked to sail all the time. The, the wood that looks old around us really is old, and the wood that looks new that's been spliced in really is new and spliced in. Uh, all of the restoration and preservation of the exterior shell, which was really the difficult part, was done as phase one. Phase two is the restoration of the interior, the uh, insulation in the walls, rewiring of the building, uh, cork on the floor, um, uh, trying to uh, capture the furnishings that were once in here from Herman Miller, uh, to other uh, uh, unique pieces of art and architecture, refurbishing the books that were upstairs, the um, uh, kitchen cabinetry. Three is the rebuilding of the redwood fence around the outside and the restoration of the fountain and then the landscaping. Our guess to do phase two and three is about $130,000 to $150,000. I can say right now we are halfway there with donations that things are moving. So museum is the bottom line, it's somebody living here and open to the public all the time.